guys, my name is Terry Fleming. Uh, I was on the UCLA women's tennis team from 2014 to 2018, and I'm going to talk to you guys today about handling or dealing with pressure. So first and foremost, what is pressure or what does it mean to like feel under pressure? For me personally, um, I feel under pressure when I'm in a situation where the expectations are so overwhelming that it makes me feel as if if I don't do something right, then something bad is going to happen. <laughs> and so with that in mind, you can feel pressure in a lot of situations. There's pressure in school, like having to pass tests. There's pressure as an athlete, feeling like you have to or need to win. And there's also pressure like socially. I mean, interacting with your friends and maybe saying the wrong thing and making somebody upset. Or even if you're with your significant other and you guys are on a date or you guys are hanging out and then that not going well. And so you might feel stressed out about that. Um, and so with that in mind, there are so many ways that an individual can feel uh, little or big amounts of pressure all throughout the day. Um, and then as an athlete, you definitely feel that consistently because you're always competing. And so you always have external pressures from your family or your coaches or anyone in your support system because, you know, they have these expectations of you and what you can accomplish. And then there's internal pressures of yourself. Um, so I just want to give you guys a few tips um, that I have learned along the way that have really helped me. Just three simple things that I think you guys can definitely apply right now to your life. Maybe you're in school or maybe, you know, you're in high school preparing for college or maybe you're, you know, playing sports. Um, and so here are a few things that I've done that have really helped me. So first things first is whenever you feel stressed or under pressure, you have to tell yourself to stay calm. And so remaining calm is the most important thing because usually when you get stressed out, your heart rate starts to increase. So the best thing to do to keep yourself calm is to take deep breaths. So you inhale for three seconds, you hold, and then you exhale for five. And then you can repeat this over and over until you start to feel your heart rate decrease. And then hopefully you'll also start to notice that the only thing you're focusing on is your breathing. And so what that does is it clears your mind of all the negative thoughts, of all the worried thoughts, or of all the doubts that you might have, which is great. So once you've done that, then you can move on to the second thing, which is positive affirmations. So this is anything that's going to uplift your spirit. So I always tell myself when I get on the tennis court and I'm feeling worried, I tell myself, Terry, you're the one. You've got this. You're prepared. You're ready. You've done this a million times. You can do this. Let's get it. Anything like that that you need to tell yourself that's going to like really get you up and make you confident and then give you the courage to go after the things that you've been worried about. Um... And then the last thing that you can do is after you've calmed down with the breathing, after you've, you know, picked yourself up with positive affirmations, then you can focus back on the thing at tasks, you know. And so you have to have tools that can get you back into the present because the thing about pressure is that it forces you to think about the future and all your goals. And so all you're worried about is expectations that you have, which are all performance. And so you have to get yourself to get back into the process of things. And so remind yourself, if you're in the middle of a test and you start to get worried about failing, failing the test, you have to tell yourself, right now I have to focus on this question. So what do I need to do to answer this question correct? Then you start to go through all the steps, whether it's a math problem or, you know, if you're writing, you start to organize and make an outline for the essay. And just take yourself back in and reel it in so that you can remain calm and you can remain focused and then you can really perform to the best of your ability. Um, those three things have definitely helped me in so many aspects. I use it not just in, you know, sports and tennis, but I use it all the time when I'm feeling stressed out or overwhelmed. And it really helps. Um, so I hope you guys can use these tools. I hope they have been really helpful. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Um, but I believe in you guys. I know that you guys have it. And the next time you're feeling under pressure, I know that y'all will be totally fine. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy in quarantine and good luck with the rest of the year. Bye.